Hey everybody, we're gonna show you how the girls stay warm in the winter. She's minus 10 out. Wow, would you look at that? We got a couple of sun dogs this morning. Isn't that pretty? That sun looks like a diamond. Here's the girls this morning. They're getting ready to go get some silage. You see all the frost on their backs? They have their, in like, look at her. She's got a layer of insulation. They got their hair there. Oh man, my hand's cold. Like I said, it's minus 10, plus we'd have a wind chill today. We're 934, she don't care. Look at the baby cat, even he's got a hair too. Look at them run. <laughs> Minus 10, they're like woolly mammoths. All right, let's go pick on one of them and I'll show you how they stay warm in the winter time. We're gonna use butterscotch as our example. Hello, not corn silage, honey. You guys see her, she's a fat cow besides, but do you see how her hair, she's got like two links on her hair. Use my cold fingers here. See how she's got this and then underneath, she's got another thick layer. That's how they stay warm. The biggest thing is not letting this happen, which is what is going on is we got them dirty before this cold is. When this gets matted up, this allows that hair to get together and then that cold to penetrate the skin. So we don't want, you don't want them to be able to get their hair all matted up. You can use Beth as an example too. Look at, look at her. She's got, I got to put some DE on her, but uh, see how she's got a little bit of mites on her back? Look at where that insulation is. Look where that frost is. Right here, where her hair is not matted up. So she is probably very, very cold on her back right now. She probably likes it rough. So I'm gonna get her treated here and we're gonna see how that responds and get her feeling better. See, she's itchy. See her? She's just rocking back and forth on the back scratching. See if I zoom out, look at her, she loves it. Okay, we're gonna pause right here. It was really cold out that day, and so I didn't do maybe the best job of describing what I was trying to show you all. When we're taking a look at Beth's back right here, we're noticing, and on some of the other cows, the frost that's on their backs. That's a good sign. What that is telling you is that frost was not able to penetrate through that even that first long haired layer and then on their second hair coat that second layer that shorter layer it wasn't able to get there and then on their third layer of protection would be their skin so when we take a look at best back here we really notice because that's good we see that frost on where her hair is now when i was scratching her uh the back <coughs> towards her tail where she has her bald spot you can tell that there was no frost on there no snow cover on there and so that just means that that coldness her heat is escaping her coldness is staying in so that insulation bears those three insulation bears were just really down to one which was her skin to protect her from the cold okay back to the video so i'll get her a little bit of uh diatomaceous earth i'll try and put that on here and see if we can get that hair growing back but like I said, you know, especially on her with their hair falling off. Oh yeah, butt scratch, she loves that. Uh, 
See how she's got, there'd been two layers of hair here. Her lower layer is the one falling out, and then her upper one will get her fixed up. But that's how your cows stay warm in the winter. They put this, they put this long hair on, and then in the summertime, I never showed it, but if you go back in my other videos, you'll notice they got a really slick hair, you know, a slick hide to them. Oh, I gotta get you some stuff, buddy. But yeah, so then they'll put that, they'll, they'll shed this, they'll shed this long hair. You'll notice that Beth isn't going to have this long hair in the summertime. She just puts it on in the winter. So that's how your girls stay warm. Right, honey. Hey. And they love good pets and rubs this time of year. Butterscotch is always a good one. You're a good example, aren't you? You always got to get cows like her. All right. I think Cody's waiting with me for the skid loader. So you all stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Also, when it gets cold like this, we're minus 10, they're going to eat a lot more. So we're gonna give them some feed because, some feed, excuse me, we're gonna give them, fill these hay feeders up. Those two are empty and the one behind me is too. We're gonna check that water. We're gonna go check that, make sure it's not froze. But right now, and when it's this cold, they say, I think under 20, they need another 20. So uh, that means 20% more calories when we get under 20 degrees. New bedding, fresh hay, warm cows. Better go get my dog warmed up.